California has become the largest producer of dairy products in the United States. Keeping pace with this growth, regulators have become increasingly concerned about the industry's contamination of California's drinking water. The culprit? Nitrogen-based fertilizer. From a rural county where cows far outnumber people, we have this report from California Watch. My name is Tom Barcellus. I'm a dairy producer, owner-operator. I was born and raised on this facility that was started by my grandfather, my dad, and my uncle in the 30s. And it's milk cows twice a day, every day, since that time. Barcellus makes every effort to safeguard the cleanliness of his main product, Milk for the Land O'Lakes Dairy Cooperative. When they come in from the corrals, they come through a wash cycle in a pen that washes their udders and their lower bodies. Everywhere in the world, irrigated farming and dairies that use fertilizer come with a price. That price includes nitrate contamination of the drinking water. The contamination comes from many sources, but one of the most important is manure from dairy cows. The manure produces nitrogen, an important fertilizer for crops. The wastewater from the dairy barn runs down the feed lane here where the cows stand, and that helps keep their feed lane clean, and it flushes their manure down into a small underground pipe, and it drops right down here into the lagoon. This same wastewater, which will be recycled as nitrogen fertilizer, also poses a health risk if it gets into ordinary drinking water. Although some studies have shown a link with cancer in adults, the greater risk is for young children and infants. And in the worst case, you have what's called blue baby syndrome, which is the, uh, the, the blood is, is not carrying enough oxygen, because unfortunately it's being occupied by the nitrogen, and uh, the baby is, is suffering from lack of oxygen. Most dairies in California fertilize the crops they use to feed their cows with manure, both in a solid form and as a liquid delivered through their irrigation systems. We have our irrigation valve here. And this is a part of a pipeline system that water from the lagoon at some point will come out and come out through this valve. Now we're talking about the dairies in the Central Valley of California. Most of them uh, have liquid waste in addition to the solid manure and they uh, recycle that to their crop fields by mixing it with their regular irrigation water. Now, if, there, if the pipe were pressurized, during, as it would be during the summer, the water would be gushing out here. The manure from the animals goes back onto the field. Uh, the crops are grown, they're harvested, and they're fed back to the animals. But this still leaves excess nitrogen in the system that plants cannot absorb, perhaps as much as 50% of the total. So how much of that will escape no matter how hard we try? And the answer is a little bit must escape. We can't get that down to zero. New regulations will require that dairy owners must line their manure lagoons to prevent leaks and construct wells to monitor their dairy wastewater. Barcelos has not yet installed either system, but feels secure with other forms of testing. Our water is not an issue here as it may be in a different location, based on tissue samples, soil samples, and best management practices. But you also have regulatory agencies being threatened with lawsuits, so they want to go beyond what they believe is right and they want to go to the extreme and the extreme may regulate a lot of people right out of business. Although this report has focused on dairies, the problem of nitrate contamination is more widespread. It may be years before we learn the full extent of the health risks associated with nitrate contamination of California's groundwater. According to one study, the total amount of excess nitrogen from all farm sources in California now exceeds more than 250,000 tons per year. For California Watch, this is Christopher Beaver, Porterville, California.